Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of FIFA 20 Career Mode Youth Edition featuring Scunthorpe United. And it's another short week for us. We have Southampton here on the weekend, and then we move on to Aston Villa, who is bottom of the table. So hopefully we can pick up some more points and maybe see ourselves closer to the top 10. I think that's a pretty realistic goal right now to stay within, within the top 10. I think that's where we should shoot to stay. We're going to have more youth players coming back in the sky report so let's get into this one see who we can add to our academy so we have one player we're going to add to the academy danny barrera 72 to 94 potential 50 to 66 overall and still 15 years of age and we have two players here in belgium it is romain mercier and mathis leblanc 66 to 92 we'll hold off on him his overall is not there but romain coming into the academy so we have three players here in the Netherlands. Vandermeer looking like good potential, but low overall. And then we have Lucas De Vrier, 52 to 70 overall, 72 to 94 potential. And we have Jaden Dehaan, who will bring in 52 to 70 overall, 71 to 94 potential. And we need to make some room here in the academy. So we have, we'll look to bring in a couple players if we can. Uh, we still got a couple players that are still waiting to turn 16. And we'll see if we can bring anyone in. We'll get rid of Lupul. His potential is just not there, even though his overall is just looking good. We have Niles Martinson, who I'd like to hold on to. I think he's going to grow a little more. Romain Mircier. Where did that potential go? I thought that was going to be better than it was. So we'll get rid of him. And do we have anyone else we could bring in? For Ty, well, uh, you know... We, it's just getting so tough. The the potentials here are so good. And we'll we'll get rid of Damir. We're going to clear this out a little bit. We'll have Felix Pitchler. We're going to bring him in. He's 50, 65 overall and good potential. We can maybe get him out on loan here in January. We'll see if we have anyone else. No one else really worth bringing in at this point. And we'll get into this one here against Southampton. Full strength lineup. The only one is Wood with a little bit of fatigue, but overall we're looking good. Let's see if we can grab three points. And we'll get this one underway. Wang right through. George Wood turns, drives past his man into the box, cuts back, has a shot, puts it on in bar down into the back of the net, gets us started. 1-0 off the kickoff. Scunthorpe United rolling here. And George Wood, an absolute beauty, drives right past his man, cuts back, finds the space, and puts it off the roof of the net into the back. It's 1-0 Scunthorpe United on top already versus Southampton. Oh, good pass. Jackson gets in front and knocks it away out for a corner kick. Wazi into Manalik. Wang can say so. Top of the box. Drives in. Has some space. Can he find the angle? No. George Wood hit her in for the back of the net. It's 2-0. Scunthorpe United off and rolling. George Wood with two. Finds another one here against Southampton. It's a nice little rebound goal. Into the back of the net. Can see how it does the work. And George Wood reaps the benefits. Scunthorpe United in control of this one on top. 2-0. Manalik runs onto the ball. Looking for a pass. It's George Wood, who's right through the middle. Has a chance, and oh, it's a hat trick in 20 minutes. Scunthorpe United all over Southampton, and this game is all but over. 19 minutes, and George Wood, who had the fatigue, does well and finds the back of the net yet again. This time, right through the middle, drives. I mean, just no one even tries to stop him. It's a perfect ball from Manalik, and he puts it right past the keeper one-on-one, -on -one, and we're on top and rolling. Out wide, Alan Vick, pressure on, Marchenko there. It's a good header in and wide of the net. Oh, a big save there by Yiji. I don't know if he made a save or if it went wide, but he had it closed down and a good chance there for Southampton. Hong out of the back, has it through to Kinsesa. George Wood right with him. A laid off George Wood in on it. He has number four, and it is a day for George Wood to remember as he has number four in the first half. Scunthorpe United absolutely dominating, and it's a one-man show. 
I guess maybe not a one-man show. He's had some pretty good service, and he's been in the right place at the right time. This time, beating his man, fights off a defender, beats the keeper. You can only look at it as it hits the back of the net, and we go up 4-0. to nil. Jackson goes up to Wang. He's going to build up here. Has it through to Kinsesa. Kinsesa drops it in behind him. Wang runs almost there, but keeper makes a save before Wang can get there. Manalik gets on the ball in the midfield. Going to go forward with it here. End of the half. Holds it up to Wang. Wang driving on. Can he get something going? It's the final touch, our final offense of the first half. He sends in a good one, but knocked away, and that will do it. We'll go into halftime in control, 4-0. Short ball goes to Marchenko. Patera on the ball, into the box. Can he do anything? Passes back to Alan Vick, lofts it up. It's right there, Bailey into the stands. Had a chance for a perfect header, but couldn't convert. Right to start off the second half. Edge of the box to go out wide. Marchenko holds on to it. Slows him down. Edge of the box. Good pass there. Pressure on. We overrun a little bit. Trying to get too excited. And no! Off the bar. Jackson kicks it out. Can Guzman get there? No. Flicks it out. And it's another chance here. Marchenko breaks it up. And Alan Vick will flick it up to him. We'll get the ball out and relieve the pressure and keep the clean sheet. Oh, good pass in the middle. Hung's there. Jackson cuts it off and knocks it away. It's a rebounded shot, and it's ah, oh, it's in there. Hung couldn't get there. 62nd minute, and again we blow the clean sheet. Would have been nice to get finally for Yidget, but not to be. As Southampton will find a goal, and it will be four to one. Guzman in the midfield lays it there for Manalik, who runs on, has a chance, gets it to Guzman. Guzman going to try and split the defenders, drives in, now cuts back, has a little space, takes the shot in, all oh, right on the keeper. Driving through the midfield, Jackson there, hung there, Giajit makes the save as no one's able to get in front of it. And that'll be it. A final cross into the box. Scunthorpe United take a victory. Four to one. It's George Wood with four goals and an absolute beauty for the first half. We take the victory and we dominate Southampton here. It's seven shots, five on target. George Wood a perfect 10. Wang a 7.9. Bailey 6.9. Yidget 7.9. Awazi 7.6. Hung 8.2. Jackson 7.9. Allenvik 8.1. Marchenko 7.2. Manalik 8.5. Guzman a 6.7. Segura 6.4. Out 8.3, Patera 5.7. That does it. It's a 4 to 1 victory over Southampton. So we'll get into the game here against Aston Villa. It's a rotated lineup. It will be Okora, Jackson, Hung, and Awazi across the back. Segura, Wang, Davies, and Bailey in the middle with Jelen and George Wood leading the attack up top. And we'll get this one underway. Jalen lays it off here to Wang, or Davies rather. Davies through the middle and now has it to Wang. With George Wood on his side, has the ball here, holds up. Can he center it? Good touch. Davies skies it into the stands. A good opening opportunity, but couldn't keep the ball down. Good drive in. Aston Villa around to the edge of the box. Awazi chases him down. They pass back. Bailey's there, puts him in the corner. Good cross in. Yidja punches it away. Right back in, though, and a chance and a big one. That goes wide of the net. Throw to Jelen. Jelen going to fight off a man. Fights off a man still. Gets it into George Wood. He has a chance. Cuts back. Can he loft it? Oh, good chance there. It's another chance for Davies. Knocked away. Wang back on it. Back in and, oh, taken down. But they get the ball. It'll go for a corner kick. Corner here, Segura will loft it in, looking for someone right in front, punched away. Oh, out of position is the keeper. Jackson couldn't win the ball, and El Ghazi grabs the ball for Aston Villa. Davies looking for Wang. Wang through the middle, 
He'll hold up, looking for a little bit more space. Has it through to Jalen. Jalen, can he get through the defense? No, lays it there for George. Wood takes a shot over the net again. Another chance from the top of the box that goes over the bar and into the stands for Scunthorpe. Out wide, Ogora chases him down. It's a good long ball that goes over the bar on a header. Wazi right into the middle as George Wood lays it there for Wang. Wang with George Jelen running with him. Has a chance here. It's Wang. Wang again moves it through. George Wood top of the box. No, can't get on the end of the ball. Hong races out to try and slow down. El Ghazi free run in on net. We need Yijit and just out of possession or out of position. It was Jackson who comes out, misses with a tackle. Hung tries to cover up for him. In last place, Aston Villa just run free in on net. We've had our chances and, you know, now Aston Villa counter and they, they really take advantage of us. I mean, maybe you could have hoped for offsides. I don't know where he was, but it goes 1-0 to Aston Villa. Oh, Aston Villa threatening again. Oh, we go with a big tackle. That's going to be a free kick from the top of the box and probably a card here. And it's just a yellow, luckily. And now Awazi gives away a free kick top of the box. We'll have to do well to defend this one. A chance for Aston Villa. They'll send it right in and clears the bar. George Wood gets it out. Wang. Wang now turns. Has a chance. Can he split the defenders? George Wood can't get behind and beat out the back line. Davies races through the midfield, looking for a run here, waiting for George Wood to get in position. Lays it out to him. George Wood going to try and blow by his man. He can't do it. Cuts back inside. He'll have a chance. Goes near his post, and it's tucked underneath the bar here at the end of the first half. And he continues his great run of form. It's now six goals in three games, four in his last game, and he comes back firing here in the first half. He'll level it at one for Scunthorpe United, places it perfectly. The defender maybe gets in front of the goalkeeper, screens his vision, and George Wood lets it rip there in front of him and puts it in for his 14th of the season. 1-1, one, one. Scunthorpe United all even. Out wide, final touch here for Aston Villa. They'll push him wide, probably force a cross into the box. It's a good one. Yidget makes the grab, and he'll punt this one deep. We'll go into halftime, all even at one. Okora looking for a good pass. George Wood is right there. He'll control it. Slips it through. Davies has a long shot, and again over the bar for Davies. Driving here. Out wide, Hung gets on it. A good cross into the box. It's right there. Loose ball, and no, it's going to find the back of the net. And you hate to... Those are the most frustrating ones where you do everything perfect, but for some reason they still can't clear the ball out of the box. And we're going to go 2-1 to one here with Aston Villa to rotate the lineup, but even still, we should be competing with them. And you shouldn't let up these kind of goals. It's dropped right at the feet, and then, oh, perfectly right there for him. Doesn't go away. And we're not able to clear it out. It's 2-1. Wazi going to bring it up. Has a chance. Couldn't get it wide. Finds Bailey anyway. Bailey now driving in. Looking to find something here in the middle. Drives past his man. Can he find a cross into the box? It's George Wood. No, George Wood never swings his leg. And it's cleared out. Bailey does well to recover. Has it back to Jelen. Jelen now. Can he find a pass? Has it through to Valet. Valet, out wide. It's Bailey. Bailey, edge of the box, cuts back inside. Looking for a pass into the middle. Has Valet. He turns and takes a shot, and it's going to be knocked away. Right back to him. Another chance. Third chance and cleared out of the box. Davies gets it through. Valet. Valet on a run here. He's going to try and get a build up going for Scunthorpe. Here he comes. Drops it through. It's Jelen. Jelen on the ball, cuts back inside, looking for something in the middle. It's Valet right in front. No, couldn't beat the keeper and get enough power on it. Cleared out again. Out wide, Okora overruns it. We're back into position. Hung puts pressure on right in front. Yijit can Oh, God. The rebounds are killing us. It's 3-1. Two off of rebounds and deflections. 
and that should basically ice the game here in some of the final minutes. Aston Villa will take the lead, 3-1. to one. And that'll do it. Full time, 3-1 to one, to bottom of the table, Aston Villa. As we rotate the side and just still don't have enough depth to really compete here in the Premier League, even with rotated shot. I mean, we really should have probably, I don't know, we probably should have gotten a draw. A draw probably would have been fair. We'll take a look at it. It's George Wood, an 8.1. Wang, a 6.9. Jelen, 7.5. Bailey, 6.8. Yidget, 6.8. Awazi, 6.2. Hung, 7.2. Jackson, 7.2. Okora, 6.7. Aguero, 6.0. Davy, 7.9. Valet, 6.8. Segura, 6.3. Guzman, a 5.5. And that does it for us here. 3-1 to one to Aston Villa. So that'll do it for us here in this one. And with the loss, we see ourselves back into 12th position. So still, I mean, we're still competing. We're still only 10 points off and, you know, not quite at the end of the year. We got one more league game left to play against Everton. So, you know, it's it's not it's not a bad showing. We just got promoted, you know, probably still need a little bit of depth to play in these, these games where, you know, you got a midweek game and you got to rotate the side. So, and if we can get through this, the winter period here and, you know, keep growing, you know, maybe we got a chance at maybe making a push to inside the top 10. So that will be the goal. We'll keep going. But that'll do it for us here in this one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.